Okay, hi there guys. Welcome back to our uh, .net tutorial about creating a library management system. Sorry for the last few weeks. Uh, I got the flu and um, took me a while to recover. Okay, so <coughs> um, first, uh, sorry for being late. And second, thank you for uh, whoever asked uh, about my health, thank you uh, for that. And um, let's dig to the uh, into the tutorial. So uh, last time we worked on uh, <coughs> we worked on the shells and uh, basically worked on creating the graphical user interface. And today we are going to work on uh, the modifying uh, uh, shelves and removing shelves. So. Let's go to this one. Now, modifying a shell shouldn't be um, that difficult. Uh, there should be a simple trick to do. Okay, so here I'm gonna right click this our client. I'm gonna add here a new Windows form. <coughs> okay, so here this is gonna be what edit shelf form and this one should be a dialog and uh, there we go okay so we got this one um, what we have to do well we are gonna need to copy these copy and uh, the shelf and paste that here Okay, the reason I'm copying these is because um, I want to use the same, you know, same style, same width and stuff like that. Okay, so what do we have in the shelf? So let me remind myself quickly. This is a shelf class. So the items we have shelf number, uh, the floor and section. No problem with that. So let's go to edit shelf form. Uh, shelf number uh, uh, what do we have and floor and section okay okay there we go this is going to be floor last one should be what last one should be section okay so shelf number shelf floor so, uh, shelf section so we have these guys and uh, yeah it's going to be something like that no problem okay what also do we have to do um well i guess we could resource this a little bit and yeah okay <coughs> now one of the things that we need to do here mm, this uh, object should store the original shelf information okay so in this case this is going to be public original shelf info as sh uh, um, system dot shelf class okay there we go okay so this one will be used to store the information of the shelf and next what we what we need to do is um, uh, these two will be used to commit or roll back uh, sorry to save the changes so I'm gonna remove them and add them la later okay so here use to initialize the form information now what are we gonna assume we're gonna assume that uh, the information will will be set here and we will only need to, to view it so um, for this one I'm gonna remove for shelf class okay this one here okay so we have this this what 
Um, I need to change the this one. This is gonna be shelf and all text. Okay. Next one shelf floor text and the last one shelf section text shelf section text okay and now let's double click on that so um, uh, full the shelf information okay so here shelf number text dot text equals what original shelf information dot get uh, shelf number okay this is the first one uh, we have what shelf floor text dot text equal original shelf information dot get shelf floor uh, get floor okay and shelf uh, section dot uh, text equals original shelf information dot get what got get this section there we go okay so um, this way we are displaying the information no problem uh, next we have uh, we're gonna work on the cancel button and this is gonna be like this me dot like result equal cancel and me dot close no problem and finally we have the OK button and wait a second this is used to cancel the changes okay and here this is used to save the changes okay now first step is to validate the input okay so what we have to do here is first um, um, f uh, shelf number dot text dot trim equal nothing than uh, msg box uh, you should specify uh, shelf number number okay followed by critical or okay and then error okay and after that we say shell shelf number text dot focus so that the user know where to edit and it is a sub same technique will be used with the others so let's go control c here control v control v next after the shelf number what do we have we have a uh, shelf of floor okay and uh, should specify shelf floor okay and this is going to be what shelf floor dot text okay great and the last one is the section okay and just press for shelf section there we go this is gonna be shelf section okay uh, after ending this validation part uh, you can see that the code is being repeated it's very much like the, sh the staff form okay so after we specify this and uh, this means everything is working well we need just to update the object itself so in order to do that um, wait a second I'll have to do yeah yeah okay so here uh, in order to update the information I'm gonna say me dot uh, what's that uh, original shelf information dot set shelf number this is gonna be what uh, shelf number text dot text okay and me dot original shelf of four set sh shelf of floor shelf and uh, floor text dot text oops and me dot original shelf on four dot set section shelf section text dot text there we go so here update the object and the last thing is to update the DB so if not uh, me dot original object dot uh, update database and I need to pass the database management system this is going to be what uh, main window 
right main window dot d uh, dbms right followed by true then msg box uh, enable to update the database okay and this is gonna be critical or okay followed by error there we go and what do we have next we have um, we display the message box we say original shelf information update database and uh, exit otherwise me dot dialog result equal ok which means all is fine me dot close there we go so this window now works fine uh, it should work fine it's all uh, edit shelf form so save that let's go to edit shelf and make sure of the tab index so this should be tab index 0 next is tab index 1 next is tab index 2 my friend and this is going to be what? wait a second this is going to be this is going to be th uh, wait a second not this does this have tab index? yeah three followed by this which has four finally this one should have five okay no problem so we finished the tab order here let's go to the main window again and uh, where's the main window this is the main window there we go and in the shelf menu it is shelf let's go here okay used to edit shelf information so now first thing make sure shelf is being selected and the data grid view uh, that is used to display shelf is dgv2 okay so first uh, i must make sure that there's one being selected so if dgv2 dot selected rows dot count equals zero then um i'm gonna say exit sub don't run this command because there is no there is no uh, row being selected next load the object okay so dimension um uh, this is gonna be what this is gonna be shelf obj as a new library management system dot shelf a class uh, dimension shelf and o a string equals gv2 dot selected rows of zero dot uh, cells of this is gonna be what shelf what shelf and o i think the database column um dot value okay to make sure i'll get to this guy and go to tables come on uh, the, these are the shelves table let's go well, I'm making this yeah it's shelf and all there we go so shelf and all those value okay so here we are getting the shelf and the uh, number and next we're gonna load it so if <coughs> not uh, shelf obj dot load uh, from db and uh, dbms here followed by the shelf number shelf and o then uh, msg box um, uh, error while loading shelf information okay followed by critical or okay only um, followed by uh, error okay so um, otherwise if all goes well we move to the next stage uh, which is displaying the user interface so dimension edit shelf when as a new uh, mm -hmm, uh, shelf form object as a new edit shelf form okay so this is uh, now now this might be confusing this is the name of the form in other words the name of the class this is the object itself so edit shelf form object dot origin shelf equal what shelf obj and finally if edit uh, form object 
dot show dialog show dialog equals okay in that case uh, I will have to update uh, the display so I will move to this one copy the code from here previous code and here we go okay so here what are we doing is just uh, displaying the, uh, the information data grid view to okay it should be like that and uh, now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run this code let's see how it goes so we created a user called Smith for testing purpose one two three let's go so these are the shelves okay all right so we have this shelf uh, shelf called a I'm gonna edit it here you can see this is the information I'm gonna change it to B for example and this is gonna be 55 33 press ok and you can see the information being updated okay so um, editing a shelf now works perfectly fine let's close this and let's save this code and uh, let's update we finished just one step okay so next we have to do what we are we're gonna need to remove a shelf okay so the total progress is <coughs> <coughs> wow we didn't do much i guess just 28 percent oh still need a lot to do okay so next we need to what remove a shelf now removing a shelf is very straightforward um it's, it's, it will be like removing uh, a staff member so i just need to put a bar here okay that's it Come over shelf okay so this one let's go here this is used to remove a shelf okay and next what do we have to do um ta -ta 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 -ta. And then, so here again make sure a shelf is being selected this is it and uh, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, we I think we need to load this object again delete the object here yeah. so uh, wait a second uh, I need to include this See. Um, shelf of j dot remove from db dbms all by true okay so here if not then you can see I'm doing a lot of copy and paste just to I know most of these are messages but anyway so here air while deleting deleting shelf information um, else we will need to display or update data creative view there we go okay um, a better technique instead of reloading the, the whole information from DB is to just um, go to the specific uh, row from the data set and uh, delete that but um, you know that will require a little bit of more work and uh, this is kind of lazy work here okay so this one's done I'm gonna save it and let's run that let's see how we could do Smith 3 go my friend and shelf and remove it and it's gone yeah nothing happens add a new shelf A A A go add another one B B B and then the third one C C C go and I'm gonna select this one shelf edit this is B I'm gonna say W add few W's click this one and now I'm gonna remove it all works fine okay so close and save let's go back to this one okay so 
we're gonna work on the books table we're gonna work on you know few important things now um so before i work on this one um let me save the work and restart the recorder here okay um wait a second this one why it's zero so wait a minute yeah almost 30 percent still a lot to do wow okay so um yeah so save that and now uh, we start working on the box so first thing we need to define the box table seems that we didn't work on that so let's get on with it okay so okay this is the box table okay too many columns so what am I gonna do I'm gonna wait a second put that here Okay, this is the first one. Okay, the reason I'm doing this to, to make things easier for me, I could see the columns a little bit. And yeah, so here we have what? We have the shelves, staff, and variables table. And now we are gonna work with the books table. So right click and create, in, uh, create table here. And okay, so. We'll need to work on that for a second. So we have book title. Oh, wait a second again. Sorry. Okay. So this the name of the table is books, obviously. The first column this is gonna be book title. And I'm gonna char make it two hundred for example. Yeah, the book title be unique. Um, I suppose so. Uh, this is not the primary key, by the uh, by the way. Yeah. Um, I guess in few cases you get two books with the same name. I guess so. I'm gonna leave it as this. Anyway, book author. Author this is the book author. Um, next one, what do we have? Uh, publication year. Publication year. Or in this case, I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, publication year. Okay. I'm gonna use long column names here. No problem. Now, this one is also gonna be text. Okay. Um, the press. No problem. Uh, we have the subject okay what is it about we have keywords okay uh, available copies available copies okay so this one is different because this is gonna be what this is gonna be numeric okay um, yeah what uh, what do we have? We have total copies. Total copies. There we go. And this is going to be also numeric. Okay. Available uh, total copies. Uh, yeah. Now location in the library. So let's have a look here. Wait a second. We have this column, vacation in the library, and well, this is basically um, the thing that tells us the location is what is the shelf. So basically, this is gonna be shelf number. Okay shelf and O okay so this is going to be shelf number so here shelf and O okay 
and this is going to be what uh, the shelf number is text so this is going to be uh, Varchar right uh, we have barcode and book ID now barcode bar barcode okay and we have book ID okay and uh, the book IDs for uh, it will be like the ISBN of the book uh, okay so what do we have to do next so we have these guys uh, first thing is obviously we need to specify the primary key uh, the primary key primary key <laughs> sorry uh, this is the first next we need to add a few constraints I guess right so the barcode should be unique yep now the shelf number Mm -hmm. Okay, so the shelf number. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I guess this is it. Not exactly. Okay. Okay, so we have the books table. Now, so we have these, no problem. But we need to create the relationship, right? So in order for this to work let's have a look here this shelf number um, I'm gonna say properties shelf numbers okay wait a second um, I wonder where can I set the constraints for that uh, I'm gonna say table of properties there we go so the columns no problem key blah 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 manage relations so here we're gonna add relations so here I'm gonna add a relationship in other words primary key foreign key relationship so the relationship is what um, shelf and O okay now the primary key table is what is shelves the primary key table column is shelf number okay and the other one is what this is shelf number okay now the update rule if that one get updated cascade the updates okay uh, in other words if you uh, update if you um, if you update things in the primary key table things will get updated here now uh, now what we have here is that if you try to delete this one no action will happen here okay in other words this will not work because other table other columns are referencing this um, what do we have the update delete shelf mm, primary key okay that's it press add no problem so we finished this guy and now I'm gonna say add relation constraint successfully added that's it so now we have uh, we have this as you can see okay so this is the relation shelf number okay so primary key and shells and the foreign key is in books if you update anything in, sh in the shelves the update will propagate to books um, and finally the delete rule will not work okay and this is what we need okay of course access uh, makes it I think a little bit easier but this is how you do it so now we finished this one let's go and update our excel file okay there we go uh, development steps and we defined this one next we need to define the books object okay now we're gonna do some little bit of programming let's save that here let's go to our business part right click and add um, there's gonna be a class and this is gonna be oops a book class 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. There we go. can see basically I'm doing the same thing again and again and again um, uh, yeah here I'm trying just to make sure that uh, I use the same format okay here defining the uh, the properties okay um, so private book ID uh, string private book title uh, string private uh, book author a uh, string private uh, publication year uh, string private what do we have also a press a uh, string private after press what do we have subject a uh, string private uh, keywords a uh, string private uh, available copies a uh, string private total copies a uh, string um, yeah private shelf number a uh, string there we go what do we have uh, shelf number private private uh, barcode a uh, string uh, what we need to do also is to um, store the old values okay there we go so it's gonna be the same just old just old Another one old here, another one old here, old, 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 and another old. Okay, so this one is finished. Okay, save. So the things we want to do is creating the setters and getters, right? So the way I did it, you know, just to make sure. I'm doing the exactly same format. Says I said, that's it. Okay, and D. Okay, probably I I should have created an interface and used that, but uh, maybe I'll create a spread tutorial about interfaces for later. Okay, so public uh, sub. Um, this is gonna be what set uh, book ID. ID a string me dot book ID equal ID there you go set book ID set book title public sub set book title title a string string me dot book title well, title. There we go. Um, set book author. Public sub set book author. Author a uh, string. Dot book author. Well, author. There we go. Set uh, publication year. Public subset uh, uh, book publication year pub year a string in this case again me dot publication year equal pub year okay set press public subset press uh, book press right 
on string e dot uh, press equal press okay this is gonna be prs that's it prs okay and after that what do we have after press set the subject public subset book subject SBJ as string. So in this case, me dot subject equal SBJ. Uh, again, set keywords public subset book keywords KWD as string. Mm -mm. Keywords equal KWD. There we go. Uh, next, available copies. Set available available copies. Okay. Public subset available copies. Uh, avail C O P Y copy as integer. Okay. So me dot uh, available copy equal avail copy. There we go. Next, what do we have? Uh, set the total copies public sub set total copies. What do we have to do next? Is uh, dot copy as integer me dot dot copies. Um, equal dot copy. There we go. Uh, what do we have? Shelf number and barcode. So set shelf and O. Public sub set shelf and O. Shelf and uh, shelf and O as string. Uh, me dot shelf number equals shelf and O. There we go. And finally, we have the barcode. Set the barcode. Public sub set set barcode. There we go. Barcode and O a string. Me dot barcode equal barcode number. Okay, so these are the setters. We need to create the getters now. Um, okay get book ID so what we have to do is simply uh, the uh, public function get book ID a string um, return me dot book ID okay um get book title public function get book title so, so you can see i'm just doing the same the same thing just repeating nothing new uh book title right next get book author public function get book author oops uh, str uh, string again return me dot book author there we go uh, next is get book uh, what do we have uh, publication year so public function get book publication year a string there we go and the term me dot book uh, sorry publication here yeah, there we go next what do we have we have um get press get press public function get press a string and return me dot press okay after that what do we have we have subject get subject 
and public function get subject a string okay if there was some kind of automated process that could generate these that would be awesome but maybe there is but i i don't know about it there are lots of things in visual studio that i don't know about so return me dot subject okay um yeah so after that what do we have after subject we get get keywords keywords okay so public function get keywords a string and return me dot keywords next is get what get available copies okay public function get available copies as integer return me dot available copies get total copies okay so public function get total copies as integer return me dot total copies okay after that we do have shelf number get shelf and all public function get shelf and all a string return me dot shelf number okay and get barcode public function get barcode a string oops string turn me a barcode there we go so we just finished all the setters and getters uh, what we need to do next is insert into db i think right so what's the name so we have these guys and next yeah insert into db so let's go back here uh, insert the record into the database so public function insert into db now dbms uh, ms class followed by commit as boolean oops bool boolean there we go um as boolean right okay and try oops what's that okay so yeah okay let me go and check this code because I want to to, uh, to be the same. There we go. Okay, no problem. So this is going to be a very long SQL statement, I guess. Anyway, so first thing, first generate a SQL command. Dimension SQL a string equal nothing. SQL actually SQL equals insert into books okay and underscore okay so wait a second yeah okay there we go so what we want to do is um, put the values here so this is going to be book ID comma space and underscore there we go so book id title author year press subject keyword uh, available copies of the copies shelf number barcode okay so we have all these and uh, yeah and finally values I'm, I'm gonna fix this in a minute this is not exactly correct so one two three four wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so uh one at four at five at six at seven at eight at nine at ten this should be it okay and close okay this is gonna close the sql now we, we need to fix this because it's not correct so this next is book title 
next is book author next is what we have publication year there we go and after publication year what do we have publication we have press there we go and after press we have subject after the subject what do we have we have keywords and after that what do we have we have available copies and after that we have total copies and next we have shelf and o and next we have barcode barcode there we go and um yeah we don't need this okay so let me count these quickly just to make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay these are 11 one next we're gonna execute this uh, command so dbms dot execute sql sql and next we need to pass the parameter so the parameters will be again in order okay so and oh, sorry so i'm gonna use this underscore okay so here me dot book id okay and another underscore oops comma another underscore me dot book title comma underscore me dot uh, after book title we have book author okay and comma underscore me dot uh, publication year comma underscore me dot press comma underscore uh, me dot subject comma underscore me dot what uh, keywords comma underscore me dot available copies comma underscore me dot total copies comma underscore me dot shelf number comma underscore me dot barcode okay so let's count how many of these are available one uh, oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so this is this is the total or the correct uh, number so we inserted this one uh, what do we need to do next I guess uh, I need to set the old values equal to the new as far as I remember and yeah, it should be similar to this one right yep I need to uh, commit the changes so commit changes f commit commit then db, uh, dbms dot commit and finally set old equal new so me dot old available copies equal me dot available copies me dot old barcode equal me dot barcode me dot old uh, uh, book author equal me dot book author me dot um, I guess I, I'm doing this the wrong way and uh, maybe I need to use it you know to order these so that I don't skip anyone me dot all book ID equal me dot book ID uh, me dot all sorry all uh, title all book title ah, I'm sorry use this technique control C yeah okay so dun 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 alt control c i am lazy person lazy 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 person okay so okay now i now
Okay, so if all goes well, return true. Otherwise, BBM has to roll back. Return false. There we go. So let's go to the shell for guy. Okay. So it has the same technique. Okay. Next, we need to load the information. So before I do anything, let me save this here. Let me go and see. Mm, so we defined this one. Uh, we defined adding a new book, right? Uh, we haven't worked on the load part. We need to load from DB. Okay. This is gonna be an annoying one because it has too many fields. Okay. So. Okay. Maybe I need to test this first. So I'm gonna save this here. Let's go to our test project. So set as a startup. There we go. And double click on that and let's go to the go part. Ding 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 ding. Okay. So let's go to 14. Fourteen. Add a new book. So dimension BK BK as a new library management system dot what we have book class. So so BK dot set uh, book ID for example one two three whatever BK dot set book uh, book title okay for example into intro the intro introduction to VB pro programming okay, for example BK dot set what um, author mm, someone okay and BK dot set uh, barcode uh, whatever Okay, so me this is the bar barcode. Yeah, <coughs> set press. Uh, okay, super kitty. Okay, so pk dot set what shelf number ninety nine. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, I think this will create a problem for us. Reason is. Uh, the shelf number should be the same as one any other shelf number of the database if this one is missing we will have problems so tu, 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 tu. so I'm gonna use this one ABC right so load ABC update okay maybe I will need to maybe I need to create a specific shelf in this case see so here before I do anything I'm gonna say this is WXYZ okay so um, this is gonna be what three 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 so this is gonna be WXYZ and programming section and there's gonna be floor one okay okay test what this is gonna be test 14 test 14 now uh, let here we are making sure that we are inserting shelf and next we are gonna insert the book okay if you don't do uh, if you don't insert the shell first, you'll get an error. We're going to see how this works. Uh, so here I'm going to say bk dot insert into db. Okay, it's going to be what uh, obj followed by false. Okay, again, it's, it's going to be something simple like that. Control C. If what? If this one, then. So this should be it. I'm going to save this and hope it works. I didn't fill all the fields, but I hope it works. So let's run this. Go, my friend. Test 14 failed. Wow. 
and test 4 has failed as well. Close that. Where is test 4? Test 4 and 3 and 4. Oh, I'm using Smith. And why I use Smith a lot? Let's go to this guy. Uh, let's stop our project and run that. Okay, so here there's gonna be admin123 go and the smith i'm gonna edit the information smith 99 for example okay close that and now i'm gonna go back to the test and set the startup project and run that again see how it goes and go yeah test 14 failed okay let's get back to here wait a second um uh, okay if not this if not there we go let's run this again quickly go failed so uh there's a problem here i'm gonna work on that and see how why it's going on like this okay so f11 so this is the long sql statement and these are the parameters and an exception, what does it say? Exception parameterize to query. Wait a second, let's see. I can't see the whole error. Why is that? Um, right to click and add watch. Okay. So, copy that, sorry, this is not bad, paste, mm, da, 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 da. expect a parameter value which ha was not applied, parameter name at 3, uh, system argument null exception, uh, okay, the third one which is the fourth parameter so one two three four oh the publication year seems like i should insert publication year. so stop that let's go back to the test project and yeah yeah so pk dot set uh book publication year uh for example okay mm -hmm. let's run this again go f10 another error okay so oops let's run this again okay Copy, let's go back to Notepad. Ah, oh, come on. Do I have to copy it from here? Oh, parameter number five this time. This one's missing. So, yeah, because I didn't supply. Maybe I should supply all the parameters. So. That, that's what happens when you get lazy like me uh, you need to supply all the parameters so uh, let me make sure I'm supplying all of these so the book ID this one set book title book author okay uh, publication year set uh, where is the press the press is set okay uh, where is the subject uh, bk dot set sub uh, uh, book subject um programming okay and uh, what do we have also after the subject we have keywords right so bk dot set for keywords what do we have we have for example programming uh, tutorial how to for example okay uh bk dot set available copies for example nine pk dot set total copies nine right uh, and the shelf number and the barcode right okay so now all are uh, all is set is right out 
go my friend and it works now so it's working fine let's go and the great so adding a new book works uh, we need to work on loading the book from the database Yay. okay so let me stop the recording for a second let me go back first to the book class um, can you hear the rain outside? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, basically, I already finished uh, one hour of recording, but uh, I would just try to do the load operation only as fast as possible, and um, you know, um, and that and and that will be it. Uh, later on, I will try to. Uh, maybe i'll talk about that later okay so load their record from db okay so let me see what the uh what did i use what style did i use here load from db okay that's it look id come on come on come on okay so here so public function load from db okay so here what do we have dbms as uh, dbms class and commit as boolean there we go as boolean oops boolean. okay so try okay so i got some action here let's have some sorry oh i'm just not that this one sorry I guess now you can hear me better. Okay, so um, here, what I need to specify uh, in addition to this is what book ID as string. There we go. So book ID. There we go. Uh, or BK ID. I'm gonna use BK ID. Okay, dimension as a string. S equal dbm as the a create result set. This is gonna be what select star from box where what do we have? We have book ID equal add zero followed by book ID uh, bk ID bk ID. There we go. So it's gonna be something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me change this. Okay. Uh, this is the statement. Okay. So, if not dbms dot read and check not on the file as then um, here get the record. Okay. So if there is no record, then in that case dbms dot close result set s dbms dot rollback return false. There we go. Um, otherwise, it means the record exists. Load the information. Okay. So this, this is how it's gonna be. Uh, me dot book ID equal dbms dot get field. Uh, sorry. Uh, what is it? Uh, field. Uh, uh, sorry. dbms. What did I use? What was get column value? Gosh, I totally forgot the code. Never mind. So here it is going to be s followed by book id. Okay, me dot book title equal dbms dot um, get column value s followed by book title. There we go. Me dot uh, book author equal dbms dot get column value book author okay and me dot publication year dbms dot get column value s followed by publication year okay at me dot press equal dbms dot get column value as far as a press comma gosh ah, da, 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 da. 
bam 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 and me dot subject equal dbms get field get column value as uh, comma subject okay this is the s here and me dot keywords equal dbms get column value as followed by um, keywords okay uh, me dot available copies equal dbms get column value as followed by what available copies there we go and what do we have me dot total copies equal dbms dot column value as followed by total copies okay what do you have next we have shelf number and barcode and me dot shelf number equal dbms get co column value as followed by uh, what do we have shelf and all shelf and all and me dot barcode equal dbms column value and final barcode there we go and finish after we do that dbms dot close result set s and set all equal new and uh, yeah we are gonna do do, 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 do do something similar to the previous one where is that code da -da 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 copy these paste them here and finally return the true if anything ever happened dba sorry dbms dot rollback return false okay mm. next we need to go to the test project go to our test project there we go double click here da -da 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 yeah test 15 so let's copy this Control C. Book ID is one two three. There we go. Fifteen. Load book. Dimension BK two as a new library management system dot book class. Now, if not B, uh, sorry, if BK two dot load from DB and uh, OBJ follow. Why do I need a comment? I don't need to commit while I'm loading. So let's go to the book class. Yeah, there's no comment here. Sorry about this error. Let's go to 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 to. Sorry, where's the test? It's here. And here, there's gonna be book ID. It's gonna be one two three. Bam. Again. It's gonna be something like this. Except that it's gonna be 15, 15, 15 by 15, and save that and run and click. All is working fine, that's wonderful. So, we just finished the loading operation. Okay, so next time we need to work on modifying, removing. Yeah, this will take some time, we won't go very quick displaying so uh, now one interesting thing is how to search for a book uh, we'll see how to work on that but this one will be an important and will it will take some time um, yeah uh, the user interface isn't that uh, you know it, it's not that uh, complicated so after that the students should be filled very quickly and yeah so I hope I guess in two or three hours we will s we will finish the um, the standard client uh, type and then we will switch to the uh, uh, web part of the system okay and so far we finished about 31 percent of the system so hopefully uh, I will try uh, if I can but I cannot promise I will try to post the video uh, every two days regarding this system in order to finish it as for applying for a question I will only try to reply on a question 
at the weekend reason is uh, I'm still very busy but I know uh, I wasn't able to post for the last two weeks uh, this is why I'm doing this I want to finish the library management system as fast as possible answer lots of the uh, remaining questions as f uh, as fast as possible uh, whenever I have time I'm sorry if it if it is taking me time but uh, uh, Lots of thing, uh, things that I have to do, study, work, uh, some other stuff. So I hope you guys understand and uh, I hope you find this useful. Um, so uh, check out the website mkasoft.com. Uh, you'll find the, uh, the source code there. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, Send them to uh, notes at mkasoft.com or notes at mka-soft.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.